In this video, let's talk about this. Because in the previous video, we were doing something and then suddenly we got this keyword. So it's important now to talk about this keyword here. Now what I will do is, I will just remove this or I will just change this variable name back to A and N. And of course here we have to say A and N, right? And let me remove this, this keyword from here just to see if this works. Now if I remove the, this keyword from there and if I run this code, compile, okay, there is some problem with the variable names. I think we are still calling X, Y, Z. So it should be set age. And we are still calling ABC, it should be get age. The same thing which we have done in the previous video. Okay, so if I save this and if I go back and compile, so compile done, running, done. So you can see we got the values, right? Now the thing is, when you talk about this variable like age and when you're passing A here, we are using two different variables, right? Now, the point to remember here is this A variable here is a local variable. This age variable here is an instance variable, right? If you want to understand that with a diagram, uh, you can just go back here. We have a stack memory, remember? We have talked about stack and heap. So we got a stack here and then we got heap here. Now, the moment you create the human object, we got this object here, human. So in this, we have a human object. And of course, it will have some address, let's say 101. So we got obj and the address is 101. That's the first object we got. And there's a link here, which we cannot, cannot ignore. And then uh, we have some more variables. You can see if you execute, and of course this was my main stack. Uh, now we are executing which method? So if you say set age, we are executing set age method, right? Now set age will have its own stack here. Let's say we have a set age stack here. You know what, I just have to zoom it a bit. And here let me create segments. So we got multiple segments here. And of course this will be linked with uh, this particular variable here. And don't you think this, this box, which is address 101 is an object of human. So it will also have the instance variable. How many instance variable we have? We have age and name. So we got age and we got name here. Now, if you look at the set age, now set age, this particular stack uh, is of set age. Every method will have its own stack. And in this, we got a variable called A. And the value for A which we are passing is 30. So we got 30 here, okay? And then the same value, 30, we are assigning to age. That means we are changing this variable and we are assigning a value which is 30 there, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, so both the value for A and age is 30. And that's why when you fetch data, when you say get age, it will return the value of age in the object, which is 30 in this case. And that is perfectly working. Now the problem is, what if I just make this particular variable age as age, I mean A as age. Now what I want is I want my local variable and my instance variable both to have the same variable name. What do you mean by that is if I remove this A from here, the variable name here will be age. So both the variable name, the local variable and the instance variable have the same name then it should work, right? What we are trying to do is, the age variable will get 30 here. So of course, in this uh, stack, we got 30. And if you see, we are assigning age is equal to age. So I'm expecting that this age will get the value from this particular age. It should work, right? Let's try. If I go back to my code and compile and run, oh, can you see that? The value for age is still zero. That means the assignment which we are assuming that it will be 30, it is still zero. Why? The reason is, if you look at line number 11, and if you see it, we are saying age is equal to age. The problem is, by default, now see, this age can be local variable, this age can be instance variable, right? Because the names are same. So can we do this? Can we say, it is possible that the age here is actually a local variable. It is also possible that the age is assigning value to itself. Maybe this age is not even an instance variable. That means this age is assigning value to itself. And this age here, which we have created, it is still zero. And that's why we are getting zero. How do we solve this problem? So somewhere we have to mention, hey, you know, this particular age here is not a instance variable. This is not a local variable, this is an instance variable. 
So remember this point, the preference will always give, always be given to local variable. So in case of confusion, it is always the local variable. We have to mention by some way, hey, this is not a local variable, that's an instance variable. How do you mention that? So in order to say that's an instance variable, can we do this? Can we say uh, human, can we create object here itself, obj1 equal to new human, and then we can say obj1 dot age. Now what we are doing is we are saying this age is a instance variable. And you might be thinking, hey, how can we use age with an object? See, we can't do that because we are in the same class. Okay, we were not able to do that here because we were in different class. But again, the problem is we are saying this age is instance and this age is local. This should work. Let's see if this is a problem or we have solved the problem. Let's run this. Oh, it is still zero. What is happening? Let's try to understand more. Now, when you execute this set age method, what we are doing is we are creating a new object. Oh, that's the issue. We are basically creating a new object. Okay. Um, how do we solve this problem? We don't want to get new object because the moment you create new object, what will happen here is it will create a new object. Let's say 103. And this will have, this will also have age equal to name equal to, and what value you're assigning here, you're assigning value which is 30. And then here in this set age, you will create obj1, which will have the address 103. And there's a link here. So the value which you are changing is of this age, not this one. We want to assign the value to this particular age. That means creating a new object is not a good idea. Okay, how do I clear this? Let's remove this. In fact, you know, this is a problem. This is creating a new object. Okay, if I don't want to get a new object, how do I access this OBJ? Oh, I got an idea here. What if with this 30, if I can pass the object itself, can we really solve the problem? With 30, if you can pass this particular object and we can accept the object here, uh, what type of object it is, it is human, human OBJ. And then here we can simply assign the value. So what I'm doing is if you, if you observe correctly, we are not creating a new object. We are basically passing the reference of the old object. So here it will be not 103, it will be 101. Okay, so this obj1 here will get the address 101 and we can simply say obj1.age and now we are not referring to this address, we are referring to this address. So we can change the age value 30 and let's see if this works. I hope this will work, compile, sorry, compile, run. Oh, it is working, it is working. So basically the important thing is, how do you differentiate between an instance variable and a local variable is by passing the object itself. But there's one little problem here. The problem is, if you if you read this line, it says obj.setAge and then you're passing the obj, obj object as well. Why we have to do this? Why you have to mention obj two times? Now Java knows this. Java says, hey, you don't worry. Why you have to pass the object two times? I mean, you're calling the method by using the object. You're also passing the object. Don't do that. Don't pass the object. By default, I will give you this OBJ. You don't even have to accept this OBJ. What if Java says, hey, don't worry. Don't create the object. Don't pass the object. I will give you the object. And that object, my friend, in fact, you know, when we had a human here, we don't even need this human line here. We could have removed that and even OBJ would have worked. So your Java says, hey, why to even use this OBJ we can, when we can simply use this? Now, this is a keyword which represents the current object. Now, when I say current object, what it means? The object which is calling the method. Set age is called by OBJ, which is this object. Here in this method, we can actually use that object with the help of this keyword. So this refers to the current object who is calling the set, set age. I hope that makes sense. So from this point, we are always going to use this, which represents the current object, okay? So here as well, instead of using name or n, I should have used name. The only thing is we have to refer the first name here is this dot name, which is the object itself, the current object. I hope uh, this all this thing have made sense. This is what this keyword is. And yeah, that's it from this video.